Uh, hello everyone welcome to my youtube channel in this video i'm going to show you how you can create a bootable usb drive for windows 8.1 setup and uh, i will walk through the step to install the windows 8.1 on your laptop and i will show you how you can create a bootable usb drive which you can plug with any computer and you can start the installation of uh, windows 8.1 so as you can see i have a usb drive that i'm going to uh, uh, i'm going to format first i'm going to use this usb drive as a setup of windows 8.1 so first of all i'm going to plug this usb drive <coughs> okay and as soon as i plug i got the format option and i'm going to click on the format okay so my usb drive has been formatted now uh, the microsoft is providing one tool which is called as a media creation tool using that tool you can able to create the bootable uh, bootable usb drive to set up windows 8.1 and windows 10 uh, as my this laptop is licensed version to windows 8.1 first so i'm going to set up first windows 8.1 uh now to download that tool you need to type uh, media uh, uh, i don't remember the U uh, the url so you can open uh, google or ms and any search engine and just type media creation tool uh for windows 10 or windows 8.1 i think just type windows 10 i think because that's giving the first location so windows 10 media creation tool i'm opening that url and uh, this will open this microsoft website where you can get the installation of windows 10 but as i want to get the installation of windows 8.1 so uh, i will click on this windows icon uh, windows link and i'm going to click on this windows 8.1 link now uh, in this website it will uh, give you the uh, the system requirement so let's say if your system is matching with the requirement then you can install the and uh, uh, before you begin you you just need to read the requirement as it's mentioned that make sure that you have a good internet connection uh, you have a sufficient data storage available on your computer or usb whichever bootable drive that you're going to create and uh, before you start the setup just uh, uh, read the system requirement of windows 8.1 uh, if you will be installing operating system for the first time you will need your windows product key for more information about product keys when they are required visit the faq page okay uh, my this laptop is licensed to windows 8.1 so as soon as i set up the windows 8.1 it will uh, uh, it will install the license version of windows 8.1 so uh, uh, i am on this page and i'm going to download that particular tool so click on the download that tools uh, download tool now and save this uh, file i'm going to save this file on a desktop and this file is available on desktop right as you can see it's available on the desktop so i'm going to right click and i'm going to run this file now this particular tool is provided by microsoft only so you don't need to worry by uh, uh, you don't need to worry it's not uh, now a language i need a, a english united states language of operating system i need a windows 8.1 and my system is the 64 bit uh, uh, processor uh, my system is the 64 bit processor so i'm going to uh, select the architecture of 64 bit click next as i'm going to create the usb flash drive a uh, bootable usb flash drive so i'm i'm going to select the usb flash drive click next now select the f drive because uh, i uh, uh, my usb drive is the f drive so i have selected the f and i'm going to click on next now it, it just giving one warning as i already formatted but it's just giving warning that the the all the content of the usb drive will be deleted so it's fine i'm going to click on ok and now as you can see the tool has started downloading the 
Windows 8.1 installation file in my USB drive. Now depend on your internet speed that the necessary file will download from the internet and your flash drive will become bootable with the Windows 8.1 setup. <clears throat> now as you can see uh, the 16% 16, 16 or 17% files has been uh, downloaded and the estimated time is around 9 minutes. So uh, we need to wait for a couple of more minutes. Uh, now a few seconds is remaining to complete the download of Windows 8.1 installation file. Okay, so it's about to finish 99% and 100%. Now it's checking the download actually. So we might need to wait a couple of more minutes. Okay, so the, the check has been completed and now it's uh, getting files ready in the flash drive probably. Now as the, uh, the check has been complete and I think it's uh, uh, copying all the files to the flash drive so that's why we are getting the message getting files ready okay so 50 percent has been completed oh, yeah. i think uh, it's creating flash drive right now so i think it's 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 gather all the file and now actually it's creating the flash drive uh, the bootable flash drive okay so now we reach to the 99 percent of completion so I think very soon our flash drive will be uh, ready for Windows 8.1 setup and that flash drive is a bootable so you can plug with any computer system and you can start the setup of Windows 8.1 it's giving the message that your USB flash drive is ready make sure that you have a product key before you install and uh, my my computer is a uh, digital license for uh, uh, Windows operating system so as soon as I install it will get activated uh, <clears throat> my Windows um, my Windows uh, 8.1 will be activated automatically <clears throat> so I'm going to show you how you can start the setup uh, of Windows 8.1 from the flash drive so I'm going to click on finish first okay and uh, I just want to make sure as you can see the the flash drive content it's the bootable content okay okay so now uh, whenever you restart the computer the computer is try to start from the uh, different different boot order so uh, and depend on the boot order the the computer try to start the operating system now as we want to start our boot from the flash drive so first of all we need to just make sure that the the first boot order is the flash drive now to 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 change the order you need to go into the computer system bias system so uh, and every computer has a different different uh, uh, key uh, to go into the BIOS system. My computer is the HP and the Windows 10, uh, the, the, the F10 is a key to go into the uh, computer system. So I'm going to restart my computer. As you can see, the computer is restart. OK, so uh, for, lap, for HP, the F10 is the key to enter into the BIOS system. So I have pressed the F10 key. And as you can see, I'm into the BIOS uh, systems of uh, HP laptop and I want to change the boot order actually so I'm going into the system configuration navigating my selection to the boot option with the arrow key I'm going to click uh, I'm going to hit enter and as you can see there is a boot order now OS boot manager is the first one then the internal CD drive uh, you can means if you have a bootable CD-ROM also from there also you can start the setup here uh, Create a USB. So I'm going to select this USB and as you can see to make a changes uh, Here it's mentioned F5 or F6. So I'm going to press F5 Okay, it's going down actually and I want to uh, go up I want to move that USB to the first so I'm going to click uh, F6 now it's going up now as you can see the the USB uh, drive is the first boot uh, option so whenever I start the computer first of all if the USB drive is connected it will try to start computer from the USB drive as we have created our USB drive as a bootable so it will start the setup of Windows 8.1 now I'm going to exit from the system and yes I want to save this setting so now the uh, it's going to start the it's going to restart the laptop and it will it will start boot from the USB drive okay so as you can see I'm getting the uh, startup screen for the Windows setup 
yes i'm going to select uh, english uh, united state language time and time and currency format is also english united state and keyboard is format of the in, uh, us input method click uh, next and click on install okay i'm going to read terms and conditions i'm going to accept it click on next now here you have a uh, different options if you just want to install windows and keep your files you you go with this option but if you want to do the complete format of your laptop then you need to go into advanced option where you'll get a chance to create the partition also as i want to remove everything so what i'm going to do i'm going to delete all the partition because i want to completely format my hard disk so i'm going to delete all partitions okay i'm going to delete everything and uh, i have around 698 gb first of all i'm going to create uh, first 150 gb of gb drive for the operating system okay so i have given 150 gb and now it's actually giving the partition to the unallocated space drive and the system by default creates certain recovery uh, partition also so my first is the 146 uh, GB, uh, which I'm going to use as a, uh, my Windows installation drive, which will be a C drive. Now there is on still the unallocated space and I have still uh, 552 GB. So 250, 250, I'm going to create two drives. So 250 GB and remaining 250, uh, 300, which will be a new drive. Okay, so I have created three drives. Now I'm going to uh, select one, uh, uh, 146 GB for the Windows installation. So I'm going to highlight that and going to click on next. Now as you can see it has started the copying the Windows installation file to the my selected file. Now it's getting file, files ready for the installation. Four first run has been completed. Okay so it has completed the installation file. It has completed the features, installation of features. Now just checking the updates uh, and then we have last option for finishing up now it says that unplug the flash drive and restart your computer because I think uh, it has done the flash drive uh, steps now it's going to boot again so I'm going to unplug the e drive e drive which is my flash drive and then I'm going to click OK and click on the restart now <clears throat> so now my computer is going to start and as i have removed the flash drive so it's going to boot from the hard disk where i install the windows 8.1 so the boot is going to happen from the boot manager of a windows operating system uh, so windows 8.1 setup is not complete yet it's going to do certain other steps also but whatever the flash drive step uh, the copying of necessary file to the our hard drive that has been completed now it's going to boot for the first time and it will complete the remaining step of windows 8.1 setup okay getting devices ready 100 percent i think it was checking all the devices in my laptop <coughs> few more minutes and your latest windows 8.1 operating system will be ready uh, in your computer system so it has uh, finished certain start step and it's going to reboot again uh, completed the initial setup and it's asking me to set up the computer name uh, my pc name so i'm going to give my pc name is hitesh dash pc okay after giving pc name, i'm going to click on next and I like this blue color you can change the different color also but I like this blue color so I'm going to click I'm going to select that blue color only now uh, it's need the internet connection to check the updates so I'm going to give uh, uh, I'm going to connect my laptop with my Wi-Fi so and to do the uh, quick uh, quick setup I'm going to uh, select the express setting I'm not going to but if you want to choose from the uh, installation, you can choose the necessary uh, setup. But I, uh, I want to finish my setup uh, very quick. So I'm going to select the express. I'm going to use the express setting. Uh, now it's asking 
for a username and password so uh, i'm going to give username as a hitesh admin uh, uh, let me give some password okay so it's finalizing uh, my settings <coughs> i think so based on the uh, uh, express setting it it's going to uh, complete the setup it's going to add the necessary apps in uh, in my laptop yes it's installing the apps from the stores based on the express uh, settings and you might need to wait a couple of more minutes to get into the uh, welcome screen okay let's start yes so finally I logged in into the Windows 8.1 nice as you can see so based on the express setting it has installed ie and certain other apps like outlook skype so <coughs> let me check my and i just want to see the license of windows 8.1 as my computer is the digital license for windows product so as you can see the windows has been activated uh, with my product key actually okay so i think as you can see the windows uh, 8.1 setup has been completed and this is the setup of windows 8.1 uh, i recommend so if you are very familiar with the setting of of your operating system setting of your computer operating system then and then you should try this option uh, uh, otherwise uh, you will uh, otherwise you will give some trouble to your computer actually so uh, uh, just follow this step uh, with your own risk actually and if you are very confident that uh, you can complete the setup then you should try now if you remember that I have created two drives also uh, which I'm not getting here so I want to show you like how you can get those drives so just click on uh just click on this manage if you go to the disk management you will see this partition so just click it this part partition and click on format and the same way i'm going to format this drive also okay so what i have done uh, what i have done uh, i have given the cd rom as app drive so to change that just right click on that and click on the chain drive letter and i have uh, selected and uh, uh, given the app drive because i know that the i have two more drives so one will be d and second will be e so I have given uh, uh, CD-ROM as an F drive. Uh, uh, now this drive I am going to give as an E actually. So I'm going to click and give the E drive. And it's also installing in my computer that particular drive. So as you can see, I have a D, E and F is the computer drive. So I think this is the setup of Windows 8.1. I hope you like the video and uh, in the next video, I will show you how you can create the media creation tool for Windows 10. And I think it's a, probably the same steps, but you will get the different installation steps for Windows 10. Uh, I hope you like the video. Thank you. Bye-bye. Subscribe to my channel. Bye-bye.